What's up YouTube? It's Jermaine with another video. Another San Francisco series video. And in this video I'm going to talk about getting around the city. Because man, everyone has to get around the city. And as you can see from my videos, you know, there's buses driving by, there's taxis, there's people walking, there's bikers, there's motorcycles, there's everything. So, um, Alright, so you guys obviously know that you can drive. So, we'll just leave driving out. So, let's just talk about BART. Okay, so BART is really convenient if you live in the Mission District and you're going downtown. That's pretty much about it. Now, if you come from outside of the city, BART is definitely going to be an uh, easier alternative than, than driving. You know, because you can usually park your car at BART if you live in Oakland or if you live in Daly City or if you live in Fremont or Walnut Creek, you can just park your car at BART, jump on BART, head to the city. So BART is is probably going to be the, the the best piece if you are if you live around the the bay. But if you live in the city, you probably won't really use BART unless you live like in certain neighborhoods. Um now buses on the other hand Buses pretty much go everywhere, but the thing about buses is, oh gosh, they just suck. Um, BART, on the other hand, BART's totally different. BART's friendly. Buses, when I mean they suck, I mean, for example, you know, you get on a peg bus, and San Francisco is a really healy city. It's very, very healy. I mean, I video in really flat places, but this city is incredible. I mean, it's so hill hilly. And the thing that sucks is when it's rush hour, like five o'clock. And, you know, I'm standing up on a bus, all right? And it's rush hour traffic. And it's going up a big hill, okay? And you have to hold on. And the bus is just stopping and going because it's traffic and it's going up a big hill. And it's just like, it's a, it's a freaking disaster, dude. Like, I just hate when I have to stand up on a bus. And then the buses stop and go so much. And they stop at, like, it just seems like they stop at every single block. You know, either there's someone waiting to get on the bus or there's someone, like, pulling the string to to get the bus to stop. I mean, it just seems like buses are so inefficient. They take so long to get around. Um, So, you know, there's definitely, a, you can definitely take a bus. I mean, they, they work depending on where, where you're going. Some places, like, commuting from, I would just never want to take a freaking bus. But other places, it's not so bad. And also, the times, um, buses can be very unreliable, too. Um, now, there's Muni. Now, the funny thing about Muni, see, in New York, you just have subway, like, you just have the New York subway system. So, pretty much... You can, um, pretty much in New York, you can get a pass and you can ride the buses, the subway, and, and you can just get around really easy. Well, in the city, they break it up. They break it up with Bart and Muni. So Bart and Muni is different. So Muni is buses and Muni is also light rail and Muni is also these, these old, old ass cable cars that you see on this track here. So that's Muni. So when you get a Muni Pass, I think it's like 70 or $80 a month, you get access to like all the Muni stuff, like the trains, the trolleys, um, the buses. But then for like $10 more, you can get a BART Pass, but that BART Pass is only good for BART within the city, you know? So, you know, the passes are somewhat decent. All right, so there's also the alternative of riding a bike. Now, riding a bike works great for a lot of people, but not for everyone. For example, let's say you live at the top of a really big hill. Chances are you're not going to be a biker because it, it just sucks to, you know, hike up a big hill. And it also sucks to ride down a big hill, too, because... You know, you just, you're on your brakes your whole, the whole time. So that's sort of a bummer. But if you live in like the Mission District, 
where it's really, where it's pretty flat, you know. You can easily ride a bike everywhere, um, especially if you're going downtown because, you know, riding from Mission to downtown is it's, it's pretty dang flat. It's like the flattest part of the city. Um, really easy to get around in that that part of the that part of town but if you are let's say you have you live in the city and you work in the peninsula you know you go down to Palo Alto or you want to go down to Mountain View or San Jose there is Caltrain and um, that's definitely another gateway out to get you to the South Bay because you know BART covers it covers majority of the bay but it doesn't really cover the South Bay so there's Caltrain for that. And, you know, Cal- Caltrain's pretty reasonable. But, um, you know, b- back to the city. Um, a lot of people walk. Because if you live in Somo, which is, you know, the hottest area, one of the hottest areas in the city. That's where all the tech companies are. And, you know, that's where a lot of people want to live. Because if you live there, you live close to work. And there's all sorts of stuff going on. And it's really you're just really close to everything um if you live farther out it's just it just takes a little bit longer to get downtown um also i i I skipped over muni i started talking about new york but once again with muni muni is the buses and it's the, the cable cars and it's also a light rail system now the light rail system that that Muni ha- operates. It actually there's a underground system right underneath this street here that I'm filming on. This is Market Street, and that underground system service you know majority of the city. Not majority of the city, but it it services like you know a decent part of the city. So you know it's underground in downtown. Now when Muni starts to suck is when Muni goes above ground. So when you're downtown, you're safe. You don't have to worry about this problem. But once you get out of downtown, Muni, it drives on normal streets. Like it's a streetcar, and it drives on normal streets with normal cars. So sometimes that works, but sometimes that don't. And most times it don't. For example, every now and then I'm downtown and... Like, I'll go downstairs to take a Muni train to go up to, like, Castro and Market or Market and Church. Now, you can take above ground train, but honestly, the downstairs train is much faster because on Market Street they have multiple trains above ground. But if you take the underground train, it's faster because it don't have to stop at any lights or anything. It just basically stops at the stops that it's designed to stop at. But the only problem is, a lot of times, I'll go down there and it may say three minutes for the J train or three minutes for the N train. And then 10 minutes will go by and it'll still say three minutes. And then sometimes it'll go from 10 minutes to like, or three minutes to 10 minutes to 15 minutes to 20 minutes. And you're thinking, well, gosh, I mean, am I ever going to get there? You know, like, is this thing actually coming? But that's the problem with Muni. It drives on normal streets. So it it, it has to, you know, wait. It, it gets stuck in traffic. It gets blocked by the buses, you know. Crazy people want to do illegal U-turns, and that blocks the thing. So all sorts of things will definitely slow you down with Muni. The thing about Muni, I really... that One thing I just hate about Muni is when you're on a packed bus and it's going up a hill, you know, there's nothing worse than that. And believe me, in San Francisco, there are plenty of hills to go up. Just take your pick, any neighborhood. There's tons of hills. The Mission, you definitely get a massive break. The Mission is hella flat and Soma is hella flat, but pretty much everywhere else, man, you're going to be trucking up some massive hills. Thinking about moving here, you might want to buy you one of those electric bikes so you can just fly up those hills and then fly down them too. But anyway, I'm going to cut this video off. It's getting to be a little long. But guys, thanks for listening. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe. And uh, thanks a lot, guys.